Your native peoples, the Hunakawu, they have a subsistence foundation, which includes salmon, berries, deer, etc. And your salmon runs are essential to their well-being. Working for a native corporation, our guiding principles, the lead is to maintain our land in perpetuity, and we also have to perpetuate our culture and land through prudent stewardship. So there's a real focus of our efforts on our land base and the long-term view. And so the partnership with NRCS is part of that long-term view. We take our responsibilities for land stewardship seriously, and these are how we put our efforts into it. About 30 years ago, this area was clear cut, harvested, and the trees that grow back in this environment grow back denser than they were when the forest was harvested. The trees that you see behind me are not gonna be large enough to then fall over and create fish habitat in this part of the stream for probably a hundred more years. Currently, you know, based on just state surveys, like 90, I think two or 3% of people use salmon as a subsistence resource in Huna. They rely on it to, for their livelihood for protein. Uh, we still have a pretty large commercial fleet in town as well with local fishermen doing purse seining and power trolling, hand trolling. So kind of the whole scale of small fishermen to large fishermen. When it comes to stream restoration, there's stands in Huna where um, logging occurred before Forest Practices Act with mandated uh, buffers on the streams. And so sometimes those streams got logged over um, and that changes over the say 30 to 40 years the stream starts to just change based on the fact that there's no wood falling into it and there's less and less favorable conditions for salmon. Now we're going back in and recognizing that the wood contributes a variety of different habitat features for fish and other aquatic organisms. Huna Totem Corporation is the native corporation for the village of Huna. We began as a founding member of the Huna Native Forest Partnership with NRCS. So when we started the Huna Native Forest Partnership, we knew that we wanted workforce development to be at the center of what we wa were doing to accomplish. So putting people to work on the land, doing resource inventory, and also doing the actual projects to improve the landscape once we knew what the projects were going to be. And so as part of this overall restoration effort for the whole watershed, NRCS worked with the tribe, the landowner, which is an Alaska Native corporation, and the Forest Service to install large pieces of wood in this stream where there were none. And the NRCS had a lot of opportunity to access funding for technical assistance development and build our capacity before we actually went out and did the work on the ground. The creek is a cataloged fish stream for salmon and trout and Dolly Varden char all of which are really important not only for recreational use, but also for traditional and subsistence use for people who live here and have lived here for thousands of years. The culvert that was at this site was about four feet wide. And if you could help me, you can see on this rod, it's right about where Braxton's hand is. And so we replaced that undersized culvert with this much larger arch culvert that has a natural stream feature. So there's now diversity of habitat features that are used by salmon and resident fish at different stages of their life cycle. And 
so it's a collaborative effort to maintain habitat and work together. The people in Huna have been stewarding these lands for 10,000 years, and so getting the people back to work on the landscape is, is revitalizing, and um, they know the woods, and they know, they know fish, and they know deer, and, and what needs to be done, and they're hard workers, and they do a good job. So. I think because we're grounded in our local village and our local economy, coming together with the resource agencies, the tribe, the company, the school district has been a unique opportunity to, to pull together and harness and get things done in the field. So it's very satisfying. Everybody kind of pitches in to get the job done. Support with the NRCS and the partners has really moved through this project list quickly and uh, speaks to the power of bringing people together to work on this collectively. All of these different entities came together to work as the Huna Native Forest Partnership to improve fish and wildlife habitat throughout Huna.